Welcome to Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom, Disneyland. I'm Marcia Miner, a traveling ambassador for Disneyland. But today it's great to be right here at home because our show is something extra special in Disneyland entertainment. Here in the Magic Kingdom, we have several important traditions that are part of the special magic of Disneyland. The most famous is a wish Walt Disney made the day Disneyland opened when he said, Disneyland will never be completed as long as there is imagination left in the world. Walt Disney's wish has come true almost every year in new shows and adventures and whole new lands for your enjoyment. On this program, Mickey and I will introduce you to some of Disneyland's newest and most exciting attractions, the fabulous Pirates of the Caribbean, New Orleans Square. Even at Disneyland, it takes a long time, sometimes years, to make a dream come true. In 1965, Walt Disney brought another Disneyland ambassador, Julie Ream, to our Imagineering department and described his plans for the attractions you're going to see today. This is what we call New Orleans Square. And here's a picture of it from the riverfront as it will look when it's finally finished. And all these little streets are gonna be very intriguing, little shops and things, and people can wander around in there. And then in here, we have a special attraction we call it the uh, Blue Bayou Lagoon. People are going to get on a boat here, ride through the lagoon, and then as they get around here, we're going to take them down a waterfall and take them back into the past, into the days of the, the pirates, you know, where they, the whole Caribbean area was full of pirates and they were always sacking towns and things. You believe in pirates, of course. Oh, yes. Oh, you want to see some? Love to. Right over here, we'll meet them. I think uh, this little miniature here is taken first from a sketch. We make these sketches to figure out the types and the characters. But this will animate when we have it in the show, you know. Now, these sketches here have to do with some of the things that are going to happen when you take this cruise with, through the pirate's uh, domain. Here's one here. Here's a pirate laden with loot. He's trying to escape. He's got one foot on the dock and one foot on a rocky boat. <laughs> you know, as the people go by, they see him. He's struggling and everything. Good luck to him. <laughs> well, he can't make it, or the show would go to pieces. You see, he has to stay there all the time and she keep trying to get away. Now we'll go around and see the town that the pirates are sacking. It's right over here. Here are the pirates in here ransacking and carrying away loot. Now, over here, Julie, is the town. This is a Caribbean town at the period. And if you get down here and look through that little ring, you get the view that the audience gets. Now here, you see the pirates are dunking the mayor into the well, trying to force him to reveal the hiding places of the town treasure. The audience will be seeing this from a boat, you know, and all the characters will be life-size and lifelike in their movements. These fellows have found the town's rum supplies but they're actually more interested in what's taking place across the river. Here, their shipmates are auctioning off the town beauties, and there's the biggest bargain of all. That is absolutely fantastic. Well, that's only part of it. We got a big climatic scene. But how could you top it? Well, we set the place on fire, and we have our audience trapped down in this flaming city. And how can they get out, then? Well, now you got into this mess by going down a waterfall. Now, how would you suppose we get them out of there? By going up the waterfall? That's right. Anything's possible at Disneyland. <laughs> yes, anything's possible at Disneyland. And everything in Disneyland began as an idea at a unique branch of the Disney organization called Wed Enterprises. Here, the skills of the sculptor and the talents of many artists combine to create the amazing audio-animatronic cast of the Pirates of the Caribbean. For their parts in the show, even the boldest buccaneer was groomed and dressed in his Sunday best. And here's part of the cast of 66 life-size pirates and their ladies. A lineup worthy of the name, Rogues Gallery. What Wed does is often called Imagineering. The blending of creative imagination with technical know-how. The audio animatronic performers in the Pirates of the Caribbean show are an example of Imagineering at work. As its name implies, audio animatronics begins with sound. Recorded on tape, the sound can be played back at any time, always on cue. 
The coined word animatronics represents a special kind of three-dimensional animation. Here's a rehearsal for the scene where the town mayor is dunked in the well every 20 seconds all day long. The third key to audio animatronics is the electronics of the space age. Using complex equipment and systems, these specialists are programming every movement of every pirate and also the more subtle movements of their prisoners. When all three processes, sound, animation, and electronics, were finally combined and synchronized, the pirates began to come to life. Meanwhile, other craftsmen were preparing the scene of battle for the arrival of the buccaneers. Canvas sails began to show the signs of battle, bullet holes and gunpowder burns. The old Caribbean town was given an aged look, with the usual care and precision. And finally, it was almost time for the pirate crew to set sail. But first there was one more journey, perhaps the most dangerous of all. The trip from Webb to Disneyland on the Southern California freeways. The pirate's destination is close by Disneyland's own muddy Mississippi. Here all sizes and shapes of ships sail, from the majestic stern wheeler Mark Twain to the mighty three-masted vessel Columbia. New Orleans Square, the new home of the pirates, is located at a bend of the river, just a few steps from the landing where the Mark Twain and Columbia dock. With its ornate woods and lacy iron grillwork, New Orleans Square stands above all the lands in Disneyland for sheer elegance of design and the faithful recreation of another age. If this looks like a page out of an old New Orleans photo album, it was planned that way. This is the Queen of the Delta she looked a century ago, when cotton was king and steamboats ruled the Mississippi. Here in Disneyland, New Orleans Square is the first entirely new land built since the Magic Kingdom opened in 1955. At the Walt Disney Studio, we've always been partial to pirate stories. You remember my friends, Captain Hook and Mr. Smee from Peter Pan? New Orleans was once the home of real live pirates, like the notorious Jean Lafitte. So what better place for the Pirates of the Caribbean show than right here? Opening day was dark and dreary, the kind of day that would have brought a ray of sunshine into the hearts of Blackbeard or Long John Silver. Aboard the Columbia, the newspaper and television reporters were out in force to cover the grand opening, armed to the teeth with pencils and cameras. Hardly a fair match for a swashbuckling band of buccaneers armed with pistols and cannons. and their prisoners. Victory at sea was only a prelude to pleasure on shore. With the Columbia's crew of reporters and photographers safely in tow, there was only one more hurdle for the pirates to overcome. Seeking adventure and salty old pirates, eh? Sure, you've come to the proper place. But keep a weather eye open, mates, and hold on tight. With both hands, if you please. <laughs> Thank you. 
evil curses, says you. Uh, <laughs> properly warned ye be, says I. Who knows when that evil curse will strike the greedy beholders of this bewitched treasure? Perhaps he knows too much. He's seen the cursed treasure. You know where it be hidden? Now proceed at your own risk. These be the last friendly words you'll hear. Rat. Where be the treasure? Do not tell him, Carlos. Scuttle, the old cockroach. No, no, por favor. No, no. Pipe him aloft again, matey. By gum, he'll talk. <laughs> I am no chicken. I will not talk. I will not talk. We anchor now, you swabbies. What be I offered for this winsome wench? Shift your cargo, dearie. Show them your larboard side. We watch the, the red head. We watch the red head. We watch the red head. Strike your colors, you brazen wench. No need to expose your superstructure. And now, you bilge rats, do I hear six? Who makes it six? Six, it be. Six bottles of rum. I'm not sponging for rum. It be gold I'm after. We want the ready. Wait, you scum. There, there, dear. We want the ready. Oh, she be a lively lassie, she were. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tell you true. It's sore I be to oist me colors on the likes of that shy little wench. <laughs> I be willing to share, I be. <laughs> We plunder, we rifle and loot, drink up, me hearties, yo-ho. We kidnap and ravage and don't give a hoot, drink up, me hearties, yo-ho. Yo-ho, yo-ho, a pirate's life for me. We extort, we pilfer, we filch and sack, drink up, me hearties, yo-ho. Maraud and embezzle and even hijack, drink up, me hearties, yo-ho. Yo-ho, yo-ho, a pirate's life for me. We kindle and char in flame and ignite, drink up, me hearty show ho. We burn up the city, we're really a fright, drink up, me hearty show ho. Uh -huh. We're beggars and fighters and ne'er do well cats, drink up, me hearty show ho. And I don't want to laugh at mommies and dads, drink up, me hearty show ho. Yo, yo, ho, a fire's knife for me. Billy's plunder rifle, drink up, me hearty show ho. 
Get the napper rabbit, you don't give a hoot. Yo, 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 Gunfire don't mix. Be off before she blows. 